Hi, welcome to my views and news. Protest in Eritrea against Eritrean government. Can someone imagine that it can be done? That a protest can be held? A silent protest, uh, we can say, uh, was registered by an Eritrean opposition group member in Eritrea, in front of the headquarters of the. PFDJ Eritrean ruling party. Secondly, Abi talked to uh, Secretary of State, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Ethiopian PM, and Antony Blinken held a telephone call a few minutes ago. What was discussed? And thirdly, uh, bombs have been thrown on uh, the houses of some prosperity party leaders in Gurjam. Lastly, a video of new recruitment and training of Afano of fighters for you. First, it was Eritrea, where there is no political opposition, no opposition party, no one is allowed to protest in Eritrea. No freedom of expression in Eritrea. Just one television channel, state-owned. One radio, t radio station, state-owned. Though people who can afford, they have satellite dishes. They have access to satellite channels. But majority of Eritreans uh, has uh, no uh, free access to internet and information. And uh, no one can imagine of uh, protesting in Eritrea against Eritrean government because around two decades ago, letters were returned to Isas a work Eritrean president by some politicians who demanded democratic reforms in Eritrea. Those letters were published in some newspapers there. Journalists, newspaper editors, Politicians all were arrested two decades ago. Since then, all have all of them have been in prison. Some died too. They were accused of uh, working against Eritrea, working against the nation, the country. So after that, no protests so because uh, people know that if they protest, they'll be put in prison. Opposition, Eritrean opposition is based abroad. And Isa Sevoki, in an interview uh, last week in Saudi Arabia, said that uh, Eritrean society uh, is united, very cohesive society, which has gelled into unity after a struggle for independence. Opposition just exists abroad, and that is not true opposition. This opposition group, these opposition group members are basically mercenaries. He used the term mercenaries. So for him, anyone who opposes his government is a mercenary. He is not Eritrean. He is non-Eritrean. And obviously, uh, it's difficult to protest in Eritrea publicly. Brigade Nehamed was a new phenomenon. Uh, in Eritrean politics, though mostly external politics, because we have only seen the activities of Brigade Ham, the members abroad, not in Eritrea. They uh, have held protests, counter protests, they disrupted Eritrean government back protests, gatherings, uh, festivals, uh, cultural festivals across the world. They stormed dozens of festivals in Europe. For America, uh, Canada, Israel. Hundreds were injured on both sides in the clashes. Some Brigade Amdo members are facing uh, cases, they could be deported. Some are facing charges of rioting, etc. So they are sacrificing. Though I criticize their mode of struggle because their mode of struggle is going to endanger them. Uh, can this mode of uh, struggle hurt Eritrean government? Maybe only lost Eritrean government will have to suffer. Could be uh, economic loss because these uh, pro-government Taspara festivals uh, 
are becoming difficult to be organized. But now we're saying that Iratin government is organizing pro-government diaspora community and Brigade Nehamando has uh, decreased its activities. But Brigade Nehamando members have managed to register a protest in Iratia. So it's a very small development, by the way, but for me it's very significant. Brigade Nehamando the member recorded a video in Asmara in front of PFDJ headquarter, Iratian ruling party headquarter. He shows the building of Iratian ruling party headquarter and then he shows, the protester shows a piece of paper with a text written on it which says, I support Brigade Nehamad. The video is not edited. It seems the video is from Asmara, Eritrean capital, where PFDJ headquarters is situated. So it's very symbolic that uh, Brigade Nehamado has managed to penetrate Eritrea. Uh, though uh, Eritrean government uh, said that Brigade Nehamado mainly it, it just consists of uh, anti erotian elements uh, backed by Tegarai. But I've been saying that Brigade Nehamado is a mainly opposition erotian group. Yes, it could have support. Maybe it is supported by other groups too, like Tegarayan. But mainly it's an, uh, essentially it's an erotian movement. It's very brave of that protester. We don't know who he is. Obviously, his identity is uh, unknown. Uh, no one is going to disclose his identity. Maybe if he leaves uh, Eratia and uh, reaches uh, abroad, he might uh, tell that he is the one who recorded this video in front of PFDG headquarters in Asmara. So it just shows that uh, Eratian people are under repression. They want to protest. They cannot. They want to express their political loyalties. They cannot. This is what uh, true governance is for a SAS and Workies government. This is what they call freedom from slavery of the West. That RRTI is free from the slavery of the West, but its people are not allowed to express their opinion, their views freely. Uh, watch this clip uh, which the man, Eritrean protester, recorded in front of PFDG headquarters in Asmara. Short clip, the next news story. Secondly, it was Anthony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State, talked to Ethiopian PMRB, telephonic conversation. What was the agenda? Reportedly, talk was about resumption of food aid. The uh, U.S. announced a few days ago to resume supply of food aid to Ethiopia, which was suspended in May this year. After allegations of aid theft, aid smuggling, uh, U.S. has now decided to resume food aid supplies to Ethiopia. Good news for Ethiopian people who have been suffering. Uh, U.S. has uh, uh, acquired some assurances from Ethiopian government that warehouses will be protected by aid organizations and uh, lists of beneficiaries will be compiled by aid organizations as well. Government will have no say in the distribution of the aid. There are some other preconditions as well agreed by the government. After that, now aid supply going to resume. Secondly, Blinken called for uh, dialogue to resolve conflicts in Ethiopia. US is a main player which is mediating between the Ola and Ethiopian government. Reportedly, talks which are underway in Darus Salaam are mediated by US officials. U.S. wants to mediate between Fano and Ethiopian government to resolve the conflict in Amhara. But Ethiopian government is not showing flexibility. Fano isn't showing any flexibility either. Uh, transitional justice also came to discussion, though it has no future. It won't produce any results. 
the deal pretoria deal implementation also came in a discussion between between abi and uh, antony blinken so several issues were discussed but mainly uh, us is just uh, telling ethiopian pm that us uh, cares for ethiopia that is why he is going to resume food aid supplies but the government should ensure that the ra- that the aid reaches into the hands of those who deserve to receive aid lastly we have the fano fighters are being accused of having carried out some attacks on prosperity party officials in gujam it happened in bitchena bitchena is in east gujam there has been heavy fighting between fano military in gujam for the last 3 to 4 days in bitchena and around 24 hours ago hand grenades were thrown on the houses of prosperity party members in bitchena city reportedly fano fighters are being accused that they threatened these prosperity party members zonal level and wider level officials because they have been actively supporting the military operation against fano fighters uh it wasn't an assassination these were warning shots of fired from fano fighters they warn people then they assassinate people this is their deliberate strategy adopted in the maharian they want to frighten people they want to terrorize people they want to ensure that no one uh, supports no one from public from public servants supports the military operation against fano fighters last year cliff for you showing the training recruitment of fano groups continuing unabated no change so far in amhara despite a military operation despite deployment of th- thousands of end of soldiers fano groups are still recruiting training they are finding it very easy to get new recruits reportedly watch the video thank you for watching